Okay guys, we're back in Panda's Kitchen, making some homemade fresh bread, right here. This is not sourdough bread, it's regular yeasted bread. And this has been uh, sitting here in the auto lease stage for about an hour. What we're gonna do is uh, take this out, cut right into it, because I have to knead this puppy yeah, up. Look at that. Now, what goes into this, you ask? Well, write this down. Three cups of flour, okay, unbleached flour. I use two cups of white, one cup of wheat flour. I use about eh, half a teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of the yeast. And then of course about a cup and a quarter to a cup and a third of good lukewarm water. I mean, you want the water, if it's, too hot and it burns your wrist, then it's too hot for it, okay? So keep that in mind. Think of it like baby bottled water, okay? Like if you want to suck that water through a nipple, something like that, okay? And anyways, what's gonna happen here, I'm gonna knead this dough out, and then I'm gonna transfer it directly into my cast iron Dutch oven, right here, and I'm gonna let it sit here and rise for about two, three more hours, put it in the oven on 375, covered up, for about 25 minutes, and then I'm gonna take the lid off and let it cook for about another 15 minutes to 20 minutes. I wanna kinda of watch the brownness for there. So anyways, let's get right into this, see what's going on. Look at that. So yeah, this is where you get to have fun, you just beat it. See, you beat it. This is not sourdough. Sourdough bread, you, know, you wanna sit here and gently stretch and pull, but this is regular yeasted bread. You gotta knead it. So yeah, you gotta beat it. Beat the bread. Yeah, but no, this is really cool. But no, this is a... Uh, we love it. Love to have this. It's always nice to have it kind of uh, for some additional add-on stuff. Plus, you know what you're putting into it. You know the ingredients that you're putting into it. So... Counter was totally clean. Clean and sterilizer counters, really good. Make sure they're totally dry. Wipe them off. Yeah, but of course I take the bread and I can kind of I fold it up like this. Push it. Yeah, you want to work all the stuff out of there. You want to get like that little popping type of scenario. Complete difference though. I'll have to do another sourdough bread video. Believe it or not, my sourdough starter from uh, is still alive and going. And that's how it's supposed to be, say from uh, well over a year ago. Still alive and going. I keep it in the fridge though. I take it out and feed it like once every week. I use about a uh, quarter cup of unbleached white flour and of course uh, distilled water. Don't want to use your tap water because the bleach chlorine in there can actually kill your natural yeast so yeah this is what I'm gonna do so this is all I really need yeah I know some people are gonna scream saying you should need that longer but you know what I'm not gonna need this longer but I guarantee this baby's gonna rise look at that nice paw of tail there man then we're gonna stick it right inside cast iron Dutch oven just like so Ball thing down, see it in there? And then I'm just gonna set it aside. Like this. Honestly, I cover it with a, a clean, kind of a towel thing there. Oh, let me show you something else. I wanna show you the, really quick, show you the actual yeast that I use, so you guys know. out of here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. That's what I use right here. Yeah. Safe Instant Premium. High power. Instant yeast. Okay. This is a one pound bag and you know what? I've had this in the freezer for a year and it still works. You know, if you are curious if your yeast is dead, a little bit of warm water, a little bit of sugar with an equal amount of yeast, you know, like a teaspoon each. 
You put it in the water. If you see the nice foamy stuff going on, then you know we have it figured out. So I'll be back with part two to the video when the bread comes out of the oven to show you guys what's going on. So, but yeah, it won't be going in the oven for about two to three hours. Peace out. All right, guys, we are ready to pop this baby in the oven. Now I preheat the oven to 475, turn it down or not 450, pardon me. Turn it down to about 375 when you put your uh, dough in there. I'm gonna make some scores in the top here. Little rips, so you like to get that nice little design on your bread, right? Kind of just, uh, you can get creative with it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This uh, knife right here is a really a cheap piece of shit, but yeah, anyways. So, over the oven. I have one of these old ovens here. Yeah. Oh, make sure you put the lid on it too. Like I said, about 25 minutes with the lid on, and then about 15 to 20 more minutes with the lid off, okay? Based on how brown you want your crust to be, okay? Very simple. Same exact principle with sourdough bread. And we're going in there right now. Careful you don't burn your hands. Turn your heat down. We got this old uh, oven here. Yeah, it's, you can see that. Old like original oven, like I think like 1970s or some type of shit. I'm gonna be looking at probably about three to $5,000 for a new oven insert because it's either gonna be too small or too big and either way I'm gonna to have to modify the cabinets, you know, front and down for the damn thing to fit. So, yep, we'll be back when the bread comes out. Peace. All right, guys, we're back. It's time for the bread to come out. It's been in here for about 40, about 40 minutes. I'm gonna turn this thing off. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. See it? See it? Beautiful. Quick, easy bread for dinner. You know, this like took about a total of three, three hours. And you don't have very little prep time in there. Of course, don't burn your hands. This Dutch oven is extremely hot. So I'm just going to kind of flip it. Look at that. Ooh. Put this back over here. That's extremely, extremely hot, guys. But yeah, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it smells so good, too. Four simple ingredients, flour, water, yeast, and some salt. And of course, you can change your flour varieties around all you want, but that's some very quick, easy, simple, Frickin' bread right there. Recipe. Wasn't gonna do a video, because I've got a few on bread, but I like bread. We like to have some fresh bread. Pop it out, put it in one of those bread bags. Easily keep for a few days. We don't have to worry about it. So, all right guys, keep safe out there. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.